Hello everyone, and welcome back. Alright, this time I reached into the locks that um, Texas Jim sent me. And again, Texas Jim, thank you for all the awesome locks you sent me. Um, and I grabbed this mortise cylinder here, and I none of his locks are marked, but I believe they're all challenge locks, and he pinned up quite a few of them too. Um, this is a no-name, but the key does say Ilko on it. It's um, kind of a reverse style keyway. Um, it's got a little lip going there to the left, but anyways, we're going to see if we can get into this one, and um, we'll take a look inside. It's got a little bit of a hang-up, but it's not too bad. So, we are locked up. This is the bidding on the uh, key. It's a pretty decent bidding. And let's see if we can get into this. Alright, um, let's see, probably a 40,000. Oh, that's this one here. Actually, that's pretty big. Let me try, um, let me try the 50. Yep, okay. Alright, uh, I think I'm going to try, work off this ledge. I'm going to use my short hook and see if we get in here. Here's, let me, um, Sorry about that, I almost forgot. I'm going to zoom this up a little bit for us. Focus this in. Oh, kind of went a little dark there, didn't it? Alright, I think we're good. Alright, let's see what we got. Pin three. Okay, this hook might be a little bit too steep for this. Okay, pin four. I'm getting a little counter there. I got a couple clicks from four. Okay, trying to get under five. Let me check these first. All right, pin five. Okay, I'm not sure if I oh, got a little counter here off of five. Okay, I think I got them. Not much room to work in there. Set something by trying to get under it. Back it off again. Dropping some pins here because I'm struggling to get underneath them with this pick. Yep, definitely struggling a bit. Okay, we got a deep false set off of three. That was possibly two. Okay, 
Gave me a little more room in here to work with, though. Okay, that was one. I just barely touched him. Got a deeper faucet there. Alright, trying to get back under four again. Lost that little bit of space I had. Okay, and we got it. Alright. Whew! Yeah, there's not much room to work off that ledge trying to get them pins there but we got it let's um let's open this thing up and see what we have inside all right we do have the key so we can lock this back up Yeah, Jim can make some pretty tough locks, but he makes some really fun ones, too. Yeah, I got a better shim right here. Oh, need to turn this a little bit. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a hang up there. Pretty tight, too. Alright, I think that's it. Okay. And we could definitely see some work done in that core. Wow. <laughs> okay. Okay, but... See all the pins are in there. Five pins. And uh, let's see what we have here. I thought I thought it was a six pin, I think, but it's only five. All right, let me grab my tweezers here. Got a very small spool. We have a serrated in two. Another very small serrated. One kind of a wide serration here in three. Um, you might be able to call that a double spool. And four. And a very tiny. What a wide serration um i thought i maybe seen some some um some serrations here but it's just a beat up pin i guess we have up here we have some definite work all right let me turn it this way here we got one and two wood threads and five wood threads and he milled that down pretty good all right, let's see what we have up here. One is, looks like a T-pin, a lot of serrations in it. Steel spring. Two is a spool with a wide serration up top. Oh, that, that's not a pin and pin, is it? I don't think so, no. Brass spring. Oh, number three came out this way. And it is a bunch of serrations in that one. Wide serrations. In a steel spring. Let me go this way. 
All right, number five. I think that's a T-pin. Yeah, kind of a T-pin. Got a sharp little point on that. I believe that might be a brass spring. And last but not least, we have a serrated. That might be a commercial serrated. And a copper spring. All right, let's see if he did anything up here. Doesn't look like he got into it. Nope. Nothing done to the Bible. All right, let's take a look at these pins, though. Okay. Number one, we see we have this, I guess you could call that a spool. Very small spool. Little double spool here in two. Possibly wide serrations. This looks like a wide uh, serration here in three. Double spool here in four. And another, I guess you call that a spool too, with a really sharp edge on the top of that one. The five. Then up here we have a T pin with a lot of serrations here in the middle. Then we have this one here, which is just making sure that isn't a pin and pin. It's a spool with a, another serration on top. It looks like a commercial spool, so I don't know how. But it's definitely not a pin and pin. That is not coming apart. Okay, and we have one here with a bunch of serrations in three. Um, commercial serrated here in four and this pin here it looks like it's just a goes to a point looks like it has a bunch of little serrations in it but that's probably from um shaving it down to that point but then up here we have a steel spring a little um brass steel copper possibly and another steel spring but yeah, another fun lock from Texas Jim. Pretty awesome. Thank you, Jim, for pinning that up and sending it to me. And uh, yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments, comment below. And yeah, everyone, please be safe and stay legal. Thanks, guys. Bye.